We're gonna put these two head to head and see which one comes out on top. This one is the best household ice cream machine you can possibly buy. And this one here is the best budget friendly ice cream machine you can buy. This one is from Nostalgia and it's the old fashioned ice cream bucket with an electric churner. And this one comes in at about $100 Canadian, which is $75 American. And this one here is a Lamborghini. Mm. The Lelo 4080 Musso Lucino ice cream maker. This one is a beauty. I got this one for $1,100 Canadian. I think it's about 750 USD, 850 USD. Let's find out. With the Nostalgia, I did a lot of research before I bought this one and I used it for about three, four months. Like ran it hard, used it a lot. This thing's a beauty. So for a hundred bucks, you can't really go wrong with this. It does take salt and ice to get the ice cream frozen. Sometimes depending on the base you have, sometimes it takes 20 minutes, sometimes it takes over half an hour. It's kind of weird, kind of inconsistent. Super easy to clean. Done. You can't put anything in the dishwasher, but whatever. Get a little elbow grease. This one on the other hand, it's one and a half quarts. You do not get that much ice cream for the price you're paying. The nice thing about this is you do not need salt or ice. It has a compressor in it, so it runs like a freezer or a fridge and it does it all for you. You just put your base in, turn the knobs, away she goes. Let the battles begin. I already made the ice cream base in the fridge, so we're gonna test out the exact same ice cream base and see how long it takes to do the churn. Put it to a taste test. Stop messing around, see if this thing's really worth it. Got my secret base. Two cups in here, two cups in there. It took me a little extra to get the salt nice in there, where this puppy could have been just whipping her up and feeding a fan. So, efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Put on this absolute Ford motor here. I set it to about 30 minutes, and normally it doesn't take 30 minutes, but I did that just to stop it whenever I want. Let's go. It's been 19 minutes and this is like maxed out thickness. That's some soft serve ice cream in under 20 minutes. I should stop that. I don't know if this thing's gonna blow. So let's stop it there. Now, let's see how this one is doing at 19 minutes. I don't think it's gonna be the same, but let's find out. We're a little liquidy. This definitely needs probably another good 10 minutes. It should take 30 minutes according to the instructions. It's been over 30 minutes, barely. Oh yeah. Hey, that's not too bad. For a hundred bucks, it makes ice cream. Okay. Camera lady set this up. I have no clue what's going on. Is there a wait? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Take a little bite. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God. Holy, that's so smooth. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> that's just like, as if you had a soft serve machine. That's the quality. Wow. It has a little more, a little more crunch to it. A little more icy, I think. No questions asked. This one, 100%. Yeah, let's not mess around. This one, they taste, this has the same base. Tastes, they both taste amazing, but I'll give texture-wise and everything overall, this one. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. That'd be such a waste of my money if this was wrong. Okay, camera lady Jen. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> it tastes like a soft syrup cone. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Okay. Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> Can it get better than that? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's even better. Woo! Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> wow, I was like, 
like sure. I was like, oh, that's definitely the better one. But now this is like insanely better. <laughs> you just make great ice cream either way, but ah, where's the ice cream? This is just like, it's like dense and smooth. This is for sure the expensive one. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you make good ice cream. Also, what I always noticed when I was using the nostalgia was there's almost a thick layer that you can, if you're selling ice cream or something, like that's kind of tricky to use. If you're adding things here, in, like after the churn, it melts quick. Where that expensive machine, it has a compressor in it and it keeps it frozen the whole time. This just has the ice to keep it cold. So, hey, 100 bucks though. Remember that, remind yourself, cheapskates. <laughs> no, like, unusable ice cream. It is all presentable, every little bit that you scoop out. This is uh, one thing I do not like about this. So I had to unscrew this cap, take this off. Like it's easy to take the stuff out, yes. Now the cleaning process is trash. You can't tilt this because it's like a fridge. You can't tip a fridge, you have to wait 24 hours if you've leaned a fridge over off its axis. Same idea, same components. So now, every time you want to clean this, you don't want to get water or anything down in that. Over time, get down there and corrode and uh, end up wrecking your machine. So now you got it with a towel, just keep, like waste a bunch of paper towel. Super annoying. So we let the two samples freeze overnight and now we're gonna do a second blind taste test. cheap one is melting faster than the expensive one which is weird because it's the same ice cream base but cheap one's melting faster perhaps something to do with the ice crystals or something scientific yeah all right yeah. let me switch these around so the blindfolded has no idea what's going on we're gonna start off with this one smells good are you <laughs> ready yes open up are you... Do you want to do it yourself? <laughs> Am I embarrassing you? Come in hot. Okay. Where's the bowl if you want some? Oh my god. Can I just come up with a hot take? <laughs> hot take? What do you think? That's the, uh, that's the expensive one. Really? Interesting. All right, now I'm going to give him what? this one. All right, are you ready for this? Oh yeah, you don't want me to feed you. Here's a spoon. <laughs> oh my god, it's easy. Busy dad. Okay, here you go. Do you, do you have it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is a cheap one. Jeez. Oh, Maui! Ah! No! You can't have any ice cream. Okay. Alright, let's show him the very interesting results. Oh no. Oh, I'm actually kind of nervous. What is that stuff? This is the one you just ate. Yeah, yes! you got it. So it's a pretty clear Not difference. Not surprised. Not surprised. Is it a pretty clear difference? It was right away. While she's getting ready, I'll just explain. <laughs> I'll just do my own blindfold. Yeah, no. It's cool. We know. Yeah. This one, the cheap one, you can just, it's a little crunchier. You can taste the ice crystals. It's so smooth and so dense. All right, I'm ready. Give me some ice cream. Okay. Okay, we are going to go with this one first. Are you going to feed me? No. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Big bite, honey. <laughs> hmm. I have a guess. I think this might be the cheap one. That'd be embarrassing if it's not, though. A little more icy. Okay. All right, I'm ready. And I hope I'm right, otherwise I'm sorry to embarrass your ice cream. And this one. Alright, we spent $1,200 on this ice cream machine. This better be better. Oh, wait a second. Is that the same one? 
Oh, you got it. That was funny. Really? That was funny. That's good. Oh, good. yes. Yeah. Okay, this is better. I hope so too. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's definitely better. It's definitely smoother. That's the more expensive one. Unless you're testing me again. No, I'm 100% confident that that is better than the first two. <laughs> that's expensive. The first two were cheap. Am I right? Yes! 100%. Wow, that's actually really impressive. That is impressive. Especially because I feel like right out of the ice cream machine, it's always it always tastes like soft serve and always just tastes unreal. So to have the hard scooped overnight frozen ice cream taste that different, yeah, that is uh, definitely worth the price. Spending money is always worth it. Live your life like this guy. Don't live your life <laughs> like this girl. Just make sure to leave a comment if you like having me in the videos. I feel like they're a lot better with me in them because like I'm just really funny and cool and smart. But he doesn't want me in the videos that much. So just like, just say, we want more Jen. Because I like it on this side of the camera. I think they do too. I just don't want them to forget whose channel it is. So. <laughs> I mean, if you have a budget, that bucket ice cream maker is still a great option. But if your goal is to have the best ice cream and maybe to sell it on a smaller scale, then it's definitely worth the investment because it's a lot better with the big one. I mean, with the expensive one. And if you really do enjoy ice cream, you're going to upgrade eventually. Make believe. The bucket one is a great way to see if you even enjoy making ice cream. Yeah, and so when he, that's what I did. And when he was first starting his ice cream business, he used the bucket one, and people still loved his ice cream. So oh, it's yeah. it's still a good option. Woohoo! Thanks for watching.